Rangers, let's cook. We've got your first look at Brian Cranston as Zordon on today's Nerdist News. Woo! Welcome 2017. <laughs> A few months since the folks behind the new Power Rangers started rolling out images from the film, and to be blunt, each new reveal has been met with a fair amount of skepticism. The prevailing criticism seems to be that Lionsgate has drifted a little too far into the dark and gritty side of the reboot pool for something that's best remembered as a bright and poppy after-school kids show. The new Rangers look is a little too mech suit -y. Goldar looks a little too melty, and Alpha 5 looks like a goblin that mated with a Roomba. But for all of our snarky detachment, there's one part of the new Power Rangers movie that we're actually kind of excited about. Brian Cranston taking on the part of Zordon. Woo! Dude! Yes. Yeah. yeah, we sold that one, guys. What would an actor of Cranston's caliber bring to a role that is essentially just a giant talking head in a tube? We have no idea, but the results could be just crazy enough to make the whole movie worthwhile. Unfortunately, we've yet to see the image of the former New Mexico meth king in disembodied head form, until now. That's because visitors to this year's Consumer Electronics Show were treated to a VR experience of a lifetime, a Power Rangers VR experience. Attendees who stopped by the Qualcomm booth could strap on a pair of VR goggles and go on a fantastical journey through the world of the Rangers, which included a little FaceTime with the Zorman. And thanks to the efforts of one sneaky Redditor, we can show you our first leaked image of the Power Rangers boss man in all his big blue translucent glory. Let's take a look. Whoa! Why didn't anybody tell me that Zordon had a twin? Do you think that they fought over the top two bunk when they were little giant heads? That joke. <laughs> God, I, can't, I couldn't even try. <laughs> All right, so obviously that's not two Zordons. What? Those, I know, surprise. Those are just bad jokes. No, those are the dual images you need to make the VR experience work. Slightly underwhelming here, but when you're actually in the experience, it probably looks pretty cool. More importantly, though, even in this slightly blurry form, we can make out a few cool details about Kranst Don that offers some hints about his appearance in the final film. The biggest being that, with this element at least, the film makers seem to be sticking pretty close to the original material. Yes, this Zordon makes his home in a cave instead of a weird futuristic building in the middle of a desert. And yes, he's appearing on a big screen instead of floating in his trusty old tube. But at his core, he's still the giant floating blue head that we've all come to know and love. To be honest, given the film's other odd redesigns, we wouldn't have been surprised if this Zordon had turned out to be some kind of weird fleshy robotic tentacle creature. And I like that that's our default. Like, that's where we go. Tentacle creature. Yeah. Who wrote this? And what sick, twisted mind do they have? We should hang out. You can also see that he appears to be surrounded, maybe even imprisoned, perhaps, in a wall of glowing green stone. Now, we already know that in the movie, Rita Repulsa will be a former Green Ranger gone rogue, and it was just announced that Zordon will be a former Red Ranger. So is it possible that these two ended up imprisoning each other with their respective magics in a final battle set a few couple of millennia before the events of the film? This would explain why Zordon is stuck inside a rocky ring of Rita's signature color. It's also not too far off from their origins in the original. They weren't former rangers in the show, but they did end up imprisoning each other in a big final battle. Zordon got stuck in a time warp, and Rita got trapped in a dumpster on the moon. That's so <laughs> mean. Now we're sorry to report to all of you Moon Dumpster fans that we don't think that the movie will have any Moon Dumpsters in it. But who's that in the corner? That's the new Alpha 5 and all of his Roomba head glory. Now if there were only a VR experience where we got a wedgie from Bulk and Skull, we would be officially stoked for Power Rangers' release on March 24th. That's what it would take, you guys. <laughs> Wedgies! <laughs> but what do you guys think? Will Brian Cranston's Emmy-winning chops make Power Rangers a big contender next award season? I don't think so. <laughs> what? <laughs> but here's what I want to say. I will watch this movie for Brian Cranston. Yes. As much as I shit on this movie, I will watch it for Brian Cranston. And if he is good, which he, of course he will be good, I might give this a pass. I'm just saying, I'm willing to admit my mistake if I'm ever mistaken. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. And are you excited to see the Rangers stay true to their roots? Let's discuss. Oh, this was a hard one today. <laughs> We've got more Power Rangers theories, breakdowns, and teenagers with attitude for your viewing pleasure. And did you guys know Bizarre States is going live to YouTube today? That is right. 
My Paranormal True Crime Murder Straight Up Spooky sh- Podcast is streaming live to YouTube and our premiere viewing experience alpha today from 4 to 5 Pacific Standard Time. Bowser and I are talking about video game conspiracy. Polybius, head on over to Nerdist.com and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Nerdist news. See you guys there. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Polite claps.